Well, uh, apparently yesterday, one of my favorite wrestlers died. Um, Scott Hall, Razor Ramon. Wow. That is uh, shocking. Um, yeah, I remember watching him as a kid back in the old WWF. Um, I just pff, loved his character. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, man, it's, it's a real shame. And I, I uh, pray for his family and friends. Um, you know, death is never easy. Um, it's something that we all have to, uh, go through at some point in our life, um, because this world is, um, it's just a part of it. Um, but it is real sad to see him go. Uh, very unexpected. Um, of course, I was, uh, asleep and when this all happened, and, and of course I worked third shift, so I'm real late to getting to this, but, um, yeah, it's real sad. Um, years ago, WWE put out a, um, a, a DVD called, uh, Living on a Razor's Edge, the Scott Hall story, which I have a copy of right here. Um, I only went through it once, and just don't really watch DVDs as much anymore, so busy with all kinds of other stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a really cool DVD. There's three discs. Uh, the first is a documentary about his life. Um, they interview him and all of his, you know, people he worked with. Um, and then it's got some classic matches, and this is the inside of it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool set. Um, uh, I will say some of my favorite matches on here, or of course, um, his match... Uh, against Bret Hart at the Royal Rumble, January 24th, 1993. Uh, Raw, May 17th, 1993, he fought uh, the one 2 3 kid which, um, you know, one 2 3 kid went over on him, and it was... <laughs> made him kind of famous. Um, and, of course, his classic match with Shawn Michaels for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, Um, it was it? WrestleMania 10. Um, and then, of course, you know, years later when he came back and wrestled Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 18, another one of my favorite wrestlers. Actually, Stone Cold is probably my favorite. Um, but, um, there's the back of it. There's this. <laughs> Rest in peace, Scott. We will we will miss you. You were truly one of the greatest, and um, I know he went through a lot of issues. Uh, DDP really Diamond Dallas Page really helped him out with his uh, DDP yoga. He got sober, cleaned up, and um, his last few years he uh, his last few years were great. Um, so he had a, a full life and still a little too young. But, um, you know, that's, that's the thing. A lot of wrestlers die young. Um, a lot of it's because of substance abuse. Uh, which used to happen quite often. I don't know how often it happens now. Uh, and things have kind of changed. But, um, so he had some, some issues. Um, but, you know. Seemed like a great person. You know, we all have problems. He, uh. But he, he bettered himself. He got better, and, you know, I think everyone was proud of him. And definitely one of the best wrestlers ever. And uh, now he's up there wrestling with all the other greats that have uh, went before. And, um, yeah, it's kind of a sad day. Um, <sighs> well, yeah, that's all I've got for today. I will talk to you all later.